What is up guys, it's your boy Solam here, back with another World of Warcraft video for The War Within, and today we're covering skinning treasure locations. These are treasures that will give you knowledge points in skinning, and also give you artisan security. This is going to be good to give yourself a head start on the profession knowledge points to get a, get a head start in skinning itself, and also the acuity can be further used by crafting professions to make certain equipment, like for example profession equipment, to give yourself an even further head start in, for example, skinning, in order to um, get skinning equipment, like for example, a skinning tool and the two skinning accessories, you need to have a bunch of artisan security. So the artisan security will be very important, and the knowledge points will also be very important. In total, there will be eight treasures for skinning, which will give you 24 knowledge points or 120 artisan security. Now, there's going to be two in every single zone, so first First of all, we have the Isle of Dorne that we have the Ringing Deeps, then we have Hallowfall, and finally we have Oshka Head. So I'm currently standing at the location of the first treasure right here, which is going to be the Urden Worker's Beams. So all you have to do is go to Rambleshire, exactly where I am right now, just go to the Flightmaster, basically, and then you will see a pop-up on your minimap. Just zoom in and you will see this on the minimap as well, or alternatively, go to these exact coordinates, which will be down below in the video description. I will give you guys slash waypoints in the video description so you can easily import those and make macros to get a tom tom arrow showing you exactly where to go but even then I still want to show you visually what they all look like as well so you know what to look for. So there we go, the Urden Workers Beams. As you can see, study to increase your castle guard skinning knowledge by 3 and for every single knowledge point you get you also get 5 artisan security so 15, 15 per treasure or 100 120 in total after gathering all the treasures shown in this video. So that is treasure number one, the second one is going to be in Dornogal, so we're going to start flying there and pause the video for one second. Now for treasure number two, you will be flying to the Corway in Dornogal, the main city, in Isle of Dorne slash the main city overall, so to the Corway right here, and exactly where I'm standing right now, you will have the entrance to a building. Go inside that entrance, look on your minimap, and you will see the Dornogal carving knife on the table right here, you want to loot that one, that is going to be treasure number two, so there we go. You should have a visual pop-up as well, like a outline around the knife, it will be absolutely impossible to miss. But there we go, that's treasure number 2 out of 8. Now for treasure number 3, we are travelling to the Ringing Deeps, and as you enter the zone right here from the Isle of Dorne, you will have it basically right next to the entrance, slash north of Gundorgas, the main city of uh, the Ringing Deeps. So right here, where I'm standing right now on the map, you will then see the pop-up of an artisan's drawing in life, on your minimap, so you go right here and loot that one, and that is treasure number three. Now for treasure number four, or the second one in the Ringing Deeps, you'll be traveling to your tail lock right here, underneath this pillar. Now over here you are looking for Fingarian's Rich Tannin. Now that's going to be guarded by some mobs, so unless you are coming here when those mobs have been cleared, you just want to get those mobs out of the way yourself, and they're pretty easy to deal with, but in this place, they do sometimes spawn additional trash after being killed, so be aware of that. It can be a little bit difficult to deal with, especially if you pull more mobs than you can handle. So try to pull as few as possible, go inside here, click on this, the tannin right there, so you click on that, and there you go. Now the Ringing Deeps is done, and you only have two more zones to go through, and you're halfway done with the treasures as well. So over here, you now just start flying and get to a Hammerfall, or Hammerfall, really, Hallowfall. So for treasure number 5, we are moving to Hammerfall, I did it again, Hallowfall, where you're going directly southwest of uh, Meraldar, the main city over here, and you have this farm, and if you have been watching any of my other profession treasure videos in the past, a lot of the uh, treasures are on this farm, and the slash ore in the city itself. Now this one is no different, so at exactly where I'm standing now, you have this building, and you go inside this building, you will then have the Arathi Tanning Agent, which once again shows up on your minimap if you do have skinning when you're at this place. So there we go, that is treasure number 5, we have one more inside this zone, and we can start moving to it right now. The second one in this zone is going to be in Meraldar itself. 
Now for the next skinning treasury, you will then move on right here to Meraldar once again, and uh, inside the main city you will then have a house directly where I'm standing now, where you'll be looting the Arothi Craftsman Spokeshave. I hope I said that correctly as well, but there we go, that is the treasure you're looting right there. And at this point you have now looted 6 out of 8 treasures for skinning, and the next zone is going to be Oshkahet, which will be the final zone with the last 2 treasures. Now the second to last treasure will be located right here, right south of the Weaver's Lair, the capital city. Well, kind of the capital city of uh, Oshkahet anyway. So you'll be going directly to where I'm standing right now, and over here you will have in the Carapus Shinery. Usually there's a world quest in the same area as well, so once again exactly where I am on the map. Or coordinates down below, you click on this on the table, the Carapus Shinery, and there we go. At this point we only have one treasure left, and that is going to be in the City of Threads. So when you head into the City of Threads, you will then go towards the entrance to Arakara, the City of Echoes. Basically, you fly into the city, you then fly down. Apparently we pulled some mobs over here as well, but that's usually not a problem. Even if you pull the elite, it's usually not a problem, especially if you kill them before you get a debuff. So don't worry if you pull, pull mobs like this, like once again, for the most part, it's not a problem. I am a freshly ding devil eighty myself, and we should be able to deal this somewhat fine. One of them has a lot of health though, like this guy, two and a half million, so we're just gonna like pop some CDs here, a couple of them at least, and try to get him down. And then we have a regular mob afterwards as well, like this guy. But e even if you pull a couple of mobs, you're usually fine, so there we go, and also there we go. In this case you will probably pull these mobs no matter the standing that you have with um, the City of Threads. So even if you have the Renown here, this is a different place, so uh, yeah. You have a couple of stealthed mobs here as well. Now the treasure you're looking for is an Rubian Slicking Iron, it's going to be on the table right here. So you go to the table, you loot the treasure, and there you go. At this point, if you've been following along throughout the video, you now have all 8 treasures for skinning. We're going to take care of this mob as well. Now if you're wondering about how to spend that knowledge points, because once you have all 8 treasures, that is going to be 24 knowledge points that you can now spend in skinning. Now, you can choose to spend those different ways, so go into my skinning journal for example, where you can spend them in tanning, harvesting, luring, and they all have different benefits. If you're wondering about my setups, and slash or how to maximize this to make some gold with skinny as well, check out my War Within gold making guide through the comments down below, or yeah, the pinned comment but also the description. There will be a link to this gold making guide where I'm covering how to spend your knowledge points in every single profession by the way, and I also cover some gold farms to do in the War Within, as well as all of the gold making information that I have not being accessible in one place. When you buy the guide, you also get access to a private gold making community where I give you guys early access to videos, exclusive videos, and a whole bunch more gold making information to get you ready for the launch and pass to the launch as well. So, TLDR, if you want to make more gold and support me at the same time, check it out, the link will be down below. And if you do buy the guide, thank you so much, the support really means a lot. With that being said, I hope you um, enjoyed this video, hopefully it was helpful, and hopefully it guided you through to get all those treasures for beginning as well. Either way, thank you for watching, I really do appreciate it, I will see you again in the next video very soon.